everyone, welcome back to another session of the Hopri. Uh, by a show of hands, how many of you guys know what Aquavit is? Well, I didn't know what it was either. I've actually had a little bit of it uh, before, but I never really knew what it was. Um, it's actually a Scandinavian liqueur uh, that's typically uh, distilled with some sort of uh, spice like caraway, uh, sometimes dill. Um, but that's what we're going to be looking at today. Um, this is a Norwegian beer from Hundbryggeriet, uh, which basically just means hand brewery. Uh, this is a really small brewery, um, again, out of Norway. This is um, a beer that they've brewed on a very small number. Uh, it's actually a barrel-aged or an Aquavit barrel-aged porter. Uh, it's got a pretty small run. Uh, this one only uh, had a total bottle number count of 2,160. Uh, this one here is batch 225, which clocks in at 10%. So, you know, really interesting beer, uh, in, uh, excuse me, interesting brewery. Um, they try to get a little bit adventurous uh, with their beers. In fact, uh, early on, on the Hoppery, I reviewed their Norwegian Wood, uh, which I remember being very kind of unique, um, almost had like a Christmas tree-like flavor, um, you know, kind of like a, a pine tree. Um, spruce, things like that. So they really like to incorporate interesting flavors. I think this is probably going to be no different. Uh, but again, it is a porter. Uh, it comes in just this regular 500 milliliter bottle. Uh, nothing fancy about the cap. In fact, it's just a black cap. And uh, speaking of that black cap, why don't we go ahead and pop it off here. Alrighty. Let's see if I can get a little bit of aroma out of there. Yep. So it definitely smells like a big imperial stout, imperial porter. You know, it's got that, you know, really dark, rich, roasted uh, character that you look for in these kinds of beers. Pouring it out, though, you know, you get this fairly consistent uh, dark brown head on it. Really a nice looking head, very consistent on uh, the bubbles. The color, you know, it's, it's very, 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 very dark brown slash black. Um, I get a very slight amount of like ruby red or even a raisin brown color uh, right around the edges, but that's, you know, really holding it up to the light that I've gotten here too. Um, if you're just kind of looking off at nothing uh, but just your room, it's pretty black. So, you know, pretty traditional for a porter. Um, I can already smell this. Okay, lots of chocolate. Um, I get a lot of, uh, you know, musty characters out of here. So like a, a cold, dark cave. I mentioned that a lot in Founders reviews. So, you know, it really tells me it's the type of malt that they're using. It is chocolatey, a touch fruity. Um, I'm getting a little bit of that, you know, spice character from the wood that they've aged that in. But to be honest, you know, if I didn't know it, uh, I might not have called it out, so really I'm just looking for that, but pretty traditional smelling for, you know, a big porter like this. Um, but let's go ahead and dig in and see what we get here. You know, not getting a whole lot of anything unique, at least in terms of barrel. Uh, I don't even get any sort of oakiness uh, or vanilla character that you would typically get from that. Um, you know, Aquavit is actually brewed, or it's housed or aged uh, in these oak barrels that were once used to make sherry, and then they make Aquavit with them. And, you know, I would expect there to be a lot more, I guess, unique character to this beer. Uh, because it would be in an Aquavit barrel, but really it's it's a, a really straight porter. I get this good lasting coffee finish um, on the palate. A fair amount of sweetness right up front. Um, a little bit of bitterness from the hops. Um, but this one's more on the chocolatey side, not so much, you know, like a coffee bitterness. At 10% though, this is a very easy drinking beer. It goes down really nice. Doesn't coat your lips. 
uh, you know, like something like the Black Metal Imperial Stout that we looked at not long ago from Jester King. You know, and porters are typically not as viscous as those Imperial Stouts, and this one's right on par with that. Um, I would say this is right at, you know, medium mouthfeel for me. Really good flavor, though. I'm really loving that sort of, you know, damp cave uh, aroma and dank cave, you know, flavor that I get. Yeah, the coffee starts to come out a little bit more, you know, as you kind of let this one sit, as it opens up a little bit. Um, but, you know, for what I was expecting, is this a bad beer? First of all, absolutely not. You know, to me, this is just a very good, straightforward, you know, a little bit higher gravity porter. Um, you know, I can feel it on my lips, so it's, it's got a little bit of viscosity in there, a really nice uh, body, if you will. The flavor is really good. Um, I think the only thing I would have to really kind of count off for this is that, you know, I was really hoping for a little bit more of a spiciness, uh, something a little bit more unique on the palate, you know, having said that it's a, uh, an Aquavit barrel aged beer, but aside from that, you know, this is a really enjoyable beer. Um, I, I would imagine it's probably fairly hard to track down, um, not that I, I think many people would, you know, really go out and try to find one of these. Um, if you happen to see it on your store shelves, uh, which you may, you know, I'm not sure how fast uh, these beers sell in your area. I do know that they're uh, once again distributed by Shelton Brothers who do a really good job of bringing, uh, you know, some of those European, uh, you know, beers over to the United States and this is really no exception. Um, really enjoyable. Not my favorite. Um, you know, this is probably about a low to mid 80 point beer for me, but um, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and sit here and finish the rest of it. Um, I'll keep my official score for the end, but um, yeah, not a bad beer. Really good, in fact, uh, but just not blowing my mind, not standing out, you know, ultimately the way I had hoped it would. So, well, that's it for today, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed the session, and uh, until we get together next time, man, cheers.